Girl Store in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today I'm joined by Tenny Grant. So Tenny, how is life in Nashville, Tennessee? I live with my parents and two siblings, Mason who is 17 and Aubrey who is 7. I am in 6th grade and go to Mangolia Hills Middle School with my bestie Jaya Mitra. Tell us about your home life. Well, my dad started a band called the Tri-Stars and my mom owns a food truck called Georgia's Genuine Tennessee Hot Chicken. I also have a golden retriever named Waylon. What do you like to do in your free time? I like to play my guitar and write in my songwriting journal. Tell us about one of your most exciting moments in your life. One day while I was just playing my guitar in the practice room, a lady came over and told me that I sounded great. She wanted me to perform at the Bluebird Cafe. I told her I would ask my parents and get back to her. She gave me her business card. Her name was Ellie Kale. I asked my parents and they said no, but then they thought about it and finally let me. I was so excited. So when we went to the Bluebird Cafe, I played a song I wrote called Reach the Sky. Is it true you gave up your spot in the Jamboree? Yes, it is. But then Portisha, aka Patty Burns, asked me to play and sing with her on stage. I did, and a video of us went viral. I was so happy. Did you really sign with Mr. Kale? Yes, he also asked me if I wanted to play at the City Music Festival's Welcome Brunch. I told him yes, definitely. When I got to the recording studio to work on the song, a boy was there. His name was Logan and would be my partner and drummer. At first, I didn't like working with that stubborn boy, but by the time the brunch rolled around, we were working as a team. We rocked it at the brunch. Even top celebrity Belle Starr said we were amazing. You are an awesome singer and songwriter. Thanks for the interview.